Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday. Uh, it's Saint from Transcend Water. Uh, today we'll be t uh, learning how to make pancakes. Ah, uh, no, I'm just that's a joke. <laughs> no, today I'll be talking to you guys to, on how to make again pancakes. No, no, no. We'll be making uh, how to clean the um, basically the Transcend Miracle uh, Max. Um, it's similar to the Royale, but this is the ones with the PJ seven thousand and PJ eight thousands. And then with the C clean kit, so it has a function to how to clean the machine, and it only happens. It's not the PJ six thousand. It's the other one, the the new old filter. It looks like this. Look at it. It's slightly different. There's no cap on the top. Okay, you can unscrew it, and there's a sticker at the bottom to tell you how to remove it. All right. So you know you have a PJ seven thousand, and you have it comes with a C clean kit. Those are Canadian customers. All right. Uh, I know the US they don't. So. Good luck, all right? Okay, um, this features allow you to do a seat cleaning on the, on the ionizer without uh, you doing too much things. It's a lot much easier than the PJ6000 and it really prevents a lot of issues in the future, all right? Okay, um, do it regularly, do it at least three times, um, four times a year. Um, make it easy, make it good on yourself uh, by doing a lot of the clean. Okay, all right. Um, the basically clean it a lot every three months, three, six, nine, twelve. So every three months, uh, at least if you can do it every month, that will be the best. All right. Okay, that will be also help keep and maintain the hydrogen, uh, the antioxidant level, the ORP negative ORP level, uh, really well. Okay, that's the main reason. Okay. So um, in order for us to do that, um, of course, you have to first take out this um, cover, your, basically your filter cover. It is always on the left side when you're facing the front. So remove it. If you're having a tough time, okay, all right, like this one here, simply just lift it up, put your fingers underneath here and pop it up, okay? And then um, here we go. And how do you remove your filter? Look at here. Lock open. Open. Alright. Then it comes here, it says in and close. Of course, not taking it out. Right? Put it aside. When you first open your kit, open it up, you're gonna find this thing here and a few bags of citric acid. Okay? Alright? So, and you also find uh, these extra tampons. You can reuse these things, these tampons. You can reuse them quite easily, okay? All right, just dry it before you put it back in the box or store it away, all right? Okay, so put it back in there, all right? Put one in there, or else when you pour the citric acid, you're gonna have a little bit of uh, citric acid snowfall, right, in, in the winter time, right? You don't want that. Okay, and one bag of this is not equivalent to one cup. One bag of this, okay, is about two times at least. You only just need to filter the line right here. Okay, filter the line right here. All right, don't overfill. It's not only gonna run, you're going to basically uh, get into some problem. Pause recording. Okay, and when I forgot about this, all right. So this is basically the refill that I sell on my own website. Basically, I just basically repack them, right? It's the same material. So same thing, I'm just gonna be cheap. I'm not gonna open it up just for reasons on it. So I can reshoot it, the videos at the time. So remember, fill to the line, all right? So if you take a look in there, you'll see the if you take a look in there, right, you see the cap line, just before the cap line, good enough, okay, all right, put the cover on it, I mean, like, I see a lot of you guys try to go over, you see this is tap here, and there's another cap tap here, when you come to here, just before it, just stop, don't go past it, it's not designed for that. And I see many people breaking it. Alright, so it says in 
and then close. All right, and that's it. Okay, and then face the machine. All right, and this thing, because this will be automatic. Wake it up. Press the mode button. Hold. It turns green. Okay, one, two, three, four. It comes to here. Press the power button and hold. And it goes into the clock right here. Okay, 21, 25, that's uh, basically the time for the clean in seconds. So this is every one second counting down. It's two cup, 21, 2120 something seconds, basically it works out to be about half an hour. All right, remember the water flow has to be at full. The basically maximum water flow. And um, if you have a cloth issue, okay, uh, it goes, it turns on and off. Basically, it's just rinsing the thing through the cycle by itself. All right. So if you're having problem and with the water flowing out or flowing out at the bottom or flowing out from the top, or it's really, really slow, you guys somehow rather turn it down really slow. Don't do that. Turn it up. Turn up the water flow. Make sure it's flowing normally. So they're basically anything around two liters a minute around, basically around. So basically 1.5, one minimum, all the way to two point something, you'll be fine, all right? Don't go below one. If you're having one liter per minute issue, you have a clock filter issue, right? Or you have a clock uh, dust filter at the back. Look at other videos, clock dust filter at the back, how to unclog it, okay? Um, basically make sure the water is flowing faster. If you don't have that, when you turn it back it up, um, removing the filter, removing this, okay, there's still going to be some citric acid in that, trap in that. So if that's the case and you're having a really slow water filter, slow water flow, slow water flow, put back the filter after you're done with this, after 27 seconds, turn on to filter water and run it for another 10 minutes and, and then taste it and taste it. Make sure that the water doesn't taste anything like um, citric acid or basically lemon juice or sour, all right? Okay, sour taste, all right? So once it's clear, it tastes like clean water, then you can use back. If not, you will fry the machine and it's not under warranty, all right? If you fry your own machine yourself, it's not under warranty. Let me be clear on that one, okay? All right, and many, many people have fried their own machines, okay? All right, okay? So basically, um, once you're done, Basically, if your water flow is still really slow, call the technician, call your dealer, figure out why is it. It's definitely, I don't want the, the basically the dust filter, okay? All your filters, all right? Okay, that's causing it. There's nothing in this machine that's designed to clog the whole thing in there, all right? It's either you never clean it, basically calcium build up inside here, calcium build up inside here, or your filter is clogged due to <coughs> dirt getting in, or your filters underneath there are clogged due to the dirt, or your dust filter is clogged due to dirt. So Chanson has a lot of backup because we've seen enough of these issues, just trying to prevent it, all right? Okay, since we're talking about it, you still have 2,000 over seconds, right? Um, we're not gonna watch it. We're not gonna finish it. But once you're done, all right, um, the whole thing, the whole cycle finish, it stops. Basically, you're just gonna reverse the process, remove this, put back the filter, all right, okay, and then dry, uh, rinse it out, and then dry, it, and then you can reuse it for the next time, all right, okay. That's that simple. Uh, talk a little bit about the filter. Um, you guys don't want to watch it after continuing. Just talk a little bit about the filter. Just don't go back to the filter. Basically, the filter clogged. Okay, just a little bit of information. Why do the filter get clogged? The filter get clogged. It's not because the filter is broken or malfunction. It doesn't last a one year we claim or the six months we claim or everything. All right, it's not. All right, think about it this way. If it's flowing fresh out from factory is flowing good, okay? It is good, all right? The reason why you get clogged is think of it. The filter is the filter stuffed, 
okay getting from your water system into your filter right if it's doing a good job it will slow the things down right just like if you take your clothes your t-shirt and you pour a whole bunch of dirt on it right okay and it gets dirty and you have to clean inside okay then your shirt is doing your you a favor if you have all those holes in the t-shirts right just like your t-shirts have a lot of holes and you throw a whole bunch of dirt on it sand on it and you're gonna find a lot of dirt again on your body okay all right so remember the filter is to stop the dirt and when it stops the dirt it's gonna get dirty it's gonna get clogged then you go wash it or in this case the filter you can't wash it you got to basically get a new one that's how filter simply works for most of you guys so understand if your water is dirty all of a sudden within the year and a big dirt pile of dirt very fine one usually really really fine because these are all um basically five microns really fine ones get in there and you stop working and the water starts slowing down really fast then you know you have a filter issue not the machine don't blame it okay all right thank you have, have a nice day um all the best to you guys if you guys have any problem or uh, questions just at the bottom you know and i'll get back to you guys as soon as possible give me a thumbs up if you guys like the video you give me a thumbs down if you guys don't like it comment on it tell me how you guys um what kind of video you guys want me to make next all right and i'll try to make it for you guys uh, i'm going to go back to making my pancakes soon because the wife is waking up soon thank you have a great day bye